Now, welcome to the first Financial Fundamentals video that is brought to you by the website AdviceScotland.com. Now, the idea behind these videos is that every episode we will look at a different financial document or piece of information and we'll try and explain it so people can understand it better. And now a recent report has shown that thousands of people across not only Scotland but the UK as a whole struggle to read some of the most basic financial documents and information that they come across on a daily basis. Now, this could be wage slips, it could be gas and electricity bills, it could be bank statements, it could be credit card statements. And the reason behind these videos is to try and give people the understanding so that they can read those basic financial documents and pieces of information uh, and help them manage their money better. Now, in this first video of financial fundamentals, what we're going to be looking at is a waste slip. Uh, now, more and more often, these waste slips are now sent to us electronically. But how many of us actually read them and how many of us actually understand the information that's contained on them? So in this video, we're going to be looking at waste slip and we're going to be looking at what that, all the information is and what it means to you and why it's important. OK, so here is an example of a type of waste slip that you may receive uh, from your employer. Now, if we look at this waste slip, there's quite a lot of different information here, and it's been broken into three different parts. So the first part, we can actually see there's payments. Now, this is actually what you're being paid for, and it shows your basic pay, the number of hours that you've worked, the rate of the hours that you're paid per hour, and then the total amount in that category. Uh, underneath that, if you're working overtime, it shows your overtime, the basic hours you're working overtime, the rate, the hourly rate for that overtime, and again, what the total amount is. Now, in the second part, we've got deductions. Now, this is the deductions that are taken off your wage before you're actually paid. So at the top, you can see the gross wage, which is a basic pay and overpay, overtime pay added together. Then we see your tax. Now, this is the tax that you've been calculated as own in that pay period. And then we see your national insurance. Uh, now, I've put in here union. If you're a member of a union, you may also have your union deductions uh, taken or, or shown there. And again, I've also put in your pension. If you're obviously paying into a pension, it will show here. However, there may be other information in here as well. So, for example, if you're a member of a credit union and you're getting pay, uh, payments taken off your wages going direct to your credit union for a loan or to your savings, that will show there. Likewise, if you've had uh, maybe a wage arrestment taken off your wages, it will also show there to show how much has been taken off. Now, in the, the last box over here to the right, we can see your total pay. That's the gross pay. Uh, that, so that was hours uh, that you worked in basic and overtime. Uh, then we show the deductions, which is the tax, the national insurance, the union uh, fees, and also your pension. And down at the bottom here, we can actually see your net pay. So that's the gross pay, take away the deductions. Now, this small summary here shows how much tax you have paid in, that, in, in this financial year. Uh, it shows what your total income tax in that financial year is. Uh, and also shows what your employee national insurance contributions has been for that whole year. Now, down here, we've got your national insurance number. And as you can see here, the pay period for this wage slip is month three. Uh, now, that's because if you look next to that, the, pay, uh, the payment period or the, the date of pay, pay is the 30th of June. So the financial year begins uh, in April. So uh, it would be April, May, and this would be your first pay for that financial year. Uh, so it's month three. Um, next to that, it shows how often you're paid. So it may be weekly, it may be monthly, it may be four weekly. Uh, and next to this, it, sh well, it shows your employee number. Um, now, now this last bit here shows you your tax code. Now, people's tax codes will be personal to them uh, and they may change uh, depending on your personal circumstances and especially if you're maybe paying back uh, an underpayment of tax from previous years. Uh, now, the tax code in this example is L1257. Now, that's because in the UK, everyone has a personal tax allowance and that's money that you're allowed to earn before you start paying tax. Now, the standard personal tax allowance for everyone in the UK is 12,570. So that's the 1257 and the zero at the end is missing. So just by looking at that, you can see the tax code for this person is 12,570. And that's the amount of money that they're allowed to earn before they pay tax. And tax gets deducted after that. Now, as I say, your tax code may be different. Uh, because it's all based on your personal circumstances. And if you want to query what your tax code is, uh, if you're not sure it's the correct tax code, then you should contact HMRC. So basically, that's a normal pay slip. That's the kind of information that's contained on it, and that's the kind of information that you want to be looking out for when you're reading your pay slip.
So thank you for joining me in this video. It is only going to be the first in a series of videos I'm going to be doing. And if you want to see more financial fundamental videos, then visit AdviceScotland.com.